Thank you, Honourable Speaker. As the committee pointed out in the report, subsidies to universities, TVET and CET colleges are grossly inadequate with the number of students accessing higher education increasing and the cost of running these institutions escalating, a situation which contributed significantly to university fee increases, which triggered protests demanding fee-free higher education. For the ACDP, the greatest concern remains the disruptions in higher education and the intimidation and criminal acts which disrupted the academic program and resulted in a destruction of university property. For the longest time, however, and especially since the Roads Must Fall campaign, reference to decolonizing universities and the curriculum have been growing louder and more demanding, yet the concept has not been well articulated or unpacked in terms of exactly what it means. Now could be a good time to pick up on this conversation. It seems that with the massive expansion of higher education in the past two years across race and class, the issue is whether or not the curriculum is relevant for these new students. Students who don't fit the profile of the typical, typical university and school entrance of two decades ago. There is also the question of a rapidly changing world and the fact that universities around the world are daring to revamp their undergraduate curricula to address the changes and be more relevant to the future world in which today's student will participate. To put it bluntly, the concerns of the decolonizing movement seem to be that curriculum content is dominated by white, male, Western, capitalist, heterosexual, European worldviews. In other words, the content underrepresents and undervalues the perspectives, experiences, and philosophies of those who do not fit these categories. Now, those with biblical world, a biblical worldview have, in fact, also expressed similar concerns over time. Sadly, these valid concerns have not been well represented by student leaders who have led by intimidation, violence, and imposing their views and agendas on others. The ACDB calls on the department to initiate research into the role of curriculum in generating inequality and disregard for those who hold views that do not mirror the popular or politically correct view, and to find ways that this can be effectively done where found to be necessary. The ACDP also recognizes the value of students having a say in curriculum matters that affect them and the need to find mechanisms to ensure meaningful representation of students Honorable on department and program governance structures. I thank you.